So in just a few days from now, the LEGO Icons Dune Atreides Royal Ornithopter goes on sale with a price tag of $165 consisting of 1,369 pieces. Rated at 18 plus, even though you don't need to be 18 plus to buy this, upon receiving my review copy, thank you LEGO, I cannot express just how genuinely shocked I was at how good the experience is with this set. From building, displaying, and most importantly, playing, the Ornithopter is already in the running for the best LEGO set of 2024 for me. Heck, maybe even Toy of the Year? When you open the set, there's 10 bags of bricks and I was able to put it together in just under two hours. Now, speaking of the build process, let's talk about the elephant in the room, Technic. Yes, this is a LEGO Technic set in disguise with normal system bricks on the exterior. Does that make this set any less enjoyable? In my opinion, no. Sorry, Tiago. What sets this build apart from other LEGO sets is the functionality and design. It looks like the Dune Ornithopter and functions like it too. Given what it's based on and its source material, any LEGO designer would tell you that something like this would come at a compromise. Well, surprisingly, in my opinion, that just isn't the case. Mike Zeike, a senior LEGO designer who you might also know from his other builds such as the Titanic, Saturn V, Lion Knight's Castle, Ferrari F40, and just a little something called Rivendell, should tell you how experienced the designer was in going into a challenge building this set. Now, I'm not here to fanboy over Mike's previous work, nor the Ornithopter. I want to be objective about this. I actually had a chance to sit down with Mike personally last year when I was visiting Denmark at LEGO HQ, and here's some of the highlights that we talked about. This is such a good idea, using that piece to hold the minifigure up. I've never thought of that. I actually, like, just did that. It's brilliant. <laughs> How do we hold it up? And I just did that, and then I, I don't actually think I ever checked with anyone to make sure it was okay. I was just like, yeah, seems great. <laughs> I, I have a really weird relationship with minifigures. I don't care so much for them, but I love minifigure scaled things. Like, I love the interactivity yeah. between a model and a minifigure. Um, I kind of imagine it like, uh, it's like... It's like bake, like making a Lego product is like baking. Like you mm. need to have the right, like baking a cake, right? Like yeah. you and I see the minifigures are like the frosting, and then like the build is the cake itself. And yeah. You got to get that right balance to make a perfect cake. Like you could just eat all frosting, and that's actually really good. <laughs> like you can make a really nice bread. It yeah. Need frosting, but right. if you get the right mix, just like perfection. So, is there any stickers on this? There's no stickers, and there's only those. There's only. There's those two prints on the side, and then I think in the cockpit there's one printed element that's just an existing and a computer, control panel. computer control panel. Yeah. Just lift this and bring it forward, and the wings come out. Oh my god! And then this like, so the we originally <laughs> we were originally it gonna just seems like magic. Have like uh, we were originally looking at having a spring to um, bring the like, reset the function because you don't want to have to like actually the very first version you had to turn a crank to make it work. Oh, and it was okay. you couldn't. You couldn't do it. I yeah. mean, we could like make it work like movie magic, but it wasn't at all fun to play with. Mm -hmm. So, even just figuring out how we would activate this took quite a lot of loops. And what's cool with this, the way the way this works, we've actually we have a lever that's going between the front and back sets of wings, mm -hmm. and then it's just not centered, so the front wings are heavier. Like they 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 exert more force on the lever than the back wings, so they actually are the front wings are flat, have a bigger motion. It's very hard to see, mm -hmm. but if you really pay attention, you can see that. that and then I already saw you grabbed it wrong. Oh, <laughs> oh no! It's, I'm, I feel bad because I failed in what I wanted to do. I'm so sorry. no, 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 it's not. You're not gonna break it, but the, so this was another of the design challenges. Like, how do you pick it up? Yeah. How do you make it so you pick it up? So right now. When I close the ramp, I'm like pinching my hand, right? And right. I can't close it. Mm -hmm. So that was the idea of this is like, oh, they'll they'll put their finger there and like hold it like uh, this. No, but it's just, it. you know, so if, yeah. so if if my finger's here, I'm fine. Okay. But if I go even just to there, then, then, I'm gonna, gonna then I'm gonna pinch my finger. This is truly incredible engineering right here, my man. <laughs> like, Thanks. Wow. Well, he is an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> He's an aeronautics engineer, if I remember correctly. Is that your background? Uh, yeah. Okay. That makes a lot of sense, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> given what you've done here. You haven't designed any Star Wars sets, have you? I have not. I not have helped out Star Wars team here and there are some things that... Maybe one day you see, maybe you won't, but I've never done a Star Wars <laughs> I actually, I, as a fan, I 
I love Star Wars. Love Star I love Wars. Lego Star Wars, but I just timings wise and kind of like my priorities, it's never worked out for me to do any Star Wars models. But you never know. Do you ever watch uh, Lego reviews or are you like? Hate yeah, it? I do. I All watch right. a lot of Lego reviews. Watch my reviews. I've 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 watched some of your reviews. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I hate them all. No, I actually. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm being honest. I like. I really appreciate when people are very like when when people are critical of things because okay. I like. Why that's the how, flaws and. That's how we. That's, okay. that's how we improve yeah. and that's how we get better and like. Cool. I I don't want to get away with stuff. All right. Um, <laughs> cool, man. So yeah. I just gotta say, if you ever get the chance to meet this guy, you won't regret it. Back to the set at large, the Ornithopter has three core functions. Opening the wings, retractable landing gear, and most impressive, the functional wing motion that is fully authentic to the source material. And also, sorry to burst the bubble of other reviewers, but most of you have been holding the ship wrong, as well as incorrectly inputting the wing mechanism. You're supposed to hold the tail further back, and while using your thumb, press on the backside of the geared black bar like so. While you're doing this, it definitely helps to time your motions, meaning don't immediately press it back and forth as if you're typing on a keyboard. It's all about the rhythm for best results. And I haven't even gotten to the minifigures. No, this isn't an ad for LEGO, I just really like the set, but LEGO really did go out of their way to include a majority of important and iconic characters from Dune Part 1. The figures included are Paul Atreides, Lady Jessica, Gurney Hollick, Chini, Leto Atreides, Liet Kynes, Duncan Idaho, and oh, one last figure, Baron Harkonnen. Yes, that is the largest fabric cape on a minifigure to date. Very cool, LEGO. Very cool. Lego Star Wars, take note. The cockpit of the Ornithopter features a clever use of utilizing two UCS X-Wing windshields and a newly developed windshield that Mike explained came from inspiration of 7143 Jedi Starfighter from Star Wars Episode II Attack of the Clones all the way back in 2002. Inside, you'll find two seats with extra spacing for any armor or cloth that the minifigure may have. Nice attention to detail. The front half has a simple setup of a single control panel as well as two joysticks for operation. I've barely mentioned that this set is even based on the movie Dune. Honestly, I don't think you even need to watch Dune to enjoy this set. That's how damn good this thing is. I'm really tired of hearing fans argue back and forth about Technic being included on system-based sets, meaning any LEGO set that just utilizes normal brick building. One of my favorite LEGO Star Wars sets of all time, 10195 ATOT with Dropship, was also a Technic-based set in disguise to achieve the mechanisms it's set off to include. It's clear to me that the Dune Atreides Royal Ornithopter had bigger ambitions that was met with satisfying results. As a builder and super fan myself, I will gladly take this trade off any day of the week to get what is yet another timeless, engaging, beautiful, and fun Lego set for anyone. Links down in the description to Amazon and Lego if you want to purchase this badass set. Good job, Lego. You did well.